When you collect GeoShape data using ODK Collect or Kobo Toolbox, you can easily display this in a QGIS map. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily do that. If you're a humanitarian or development worker, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel. Um, hopefully I can support you with weekly tips and um, uh, support on data collection, visualization, analysis, and management, um, especially for our sector. So <laughs> So I'm in Excel and actually I have just opened this file, which I've downloaded from Kobo Toolbox. And over in this column here, shape example, this is actually data that I collected using geo shape um, question type. Okay. So I've walked around in the circle, collected this geo shape. Um, so what I'm going to do if I'm in QGIS, then um, if you go to plugins, and manage and install plugins. And you've just typed ODK, you can see that there is a plugin called ODK Trace to um, well-known text, WKT. And I've already installed it, but you can install that. Okay, so uh, once you've installed it, click close, and you can then access it from plugins, ODK Trace uh, here. So convert GeoTrace to well-known text. So if you click that, um, you select your input file, which I've already selected um, there, your column with your geo shape, with geo trace, you can actually put your shape example. So although it says column with geo trace, um, you can also use this with geo shape. Use your delimiter as the uh, semicolon, so leave that as it is. It will just create a temporary file and then click OK and click OK once more. And you can see that it's created this temporary uh, layer called output layer. Now, this right now is a line. And what we want is we want this to be an area or a shape. Uh, so what you can do is with your output layer selected, go to vector and geometry tools, and then come down and uh, click on lines to polygons. So this will actually shift the lines and create polygons out of them. Uh, so your input layer is whatever whatever you've actually selected. So I had selected output layer, so that's what it's going to be working on. And just tap on run in background. It works and then you can close it. And over here you can see it's created another temporary file named polygons. And you can see it's actually created areas. Um, so these are actually things you can click on um, as whole entire areas instead of just lines. So um, what you can now do is right click on polygons and export and save features as, and then you just want to go to wherever you want to um, save that. I'll name this geo shape, I'll save it. And then I'll tap, uh, yeah, it's it's got all of these, um, uh, you can add saved my, file to map and it's got all of these uh, columns from your ODK or Kobo toolbox questionnaire. It's got them all attached to that shape. Tap on OK and you should see that GeoShape is now added and then I'll go to polygons, right click and remove layer. Um, OK and then I'll go to output layer which was the other temporary file right click and remove the layer. And that's just so I don't get confused and then try to work with files that end up being temporary. Uh, so I know that I now have GeoShape um, actually saved. So hopefully that was helpful. That is how you add a GeoShape into a QGIS map. Um, and if you, if you thought this was helpful, then I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel because I'd love to um, support you with weekly videos and tips on um, data collection uh, through to data visualization and everything in between. Um, and hope to see you here again. Bye. Yeah.